Hey friends, let's talk about visualizing ideas with code. You might have heard of Manim, which is a math animation engine or something like Motion Canvas, which uses Canvas for code explainers. And there's even Remotion that uses React to make videos programmatically. These projects are great, but they're a bit complicated and they require you to learn the tool first and think through the tool. But what if you could use web technologies and use the tools you know and love to make code explainers or just make awesome slides? So in my opinion, there should be something simpler you could use that lets you use the web technologies you love and not having to reinvent everything. So today I'm introducing Animotion. Animotion is made with wheat, the most beloved JavaScript framework Svelte, which uses the Reveal.js presentation framework and Tailwind CSS to style the slides. With Animotion, you bring your own animation engine. Animotion has no concerns how you sequence your animations, but is only concerned about managing the slides and the transitions between them. Which means that you can bring your own library. You can use any animation library like GSAP. If you want those cool morph effects, you can just use the GSAP morph plugin. You can use something else like Motion One or D3 for bespoke data visualizations. Or if you want to dip your toes into 3D, you can use FreeJS. And Svelte has great wrappers around these libraries, like Frelt for FreeJS, for example. And the best part is you get to use browser APIs. So you can use the Canvas API or SVGs to visualize your ideas. In Animotion, you bring your own controls. In fact, in Animotion, you are the controls. So traditionally, you would record the audio and then you would create the steps to match it visually. But this is tedious because now you have to re-record something and then you have to change everything. What if you could just do the presentation first and then just record a voiceover over it, which is really so much simpler in my opinion. Even if you make a mistake, you can just go back a slide, pretend like nothing happened, and then you can edit that part later. So let's see Animotion in action. You only have to import presentation and a slide from components. Then you can create a presentation. You can add your slide and you can add some text which you can style using Tailwind. And if these utility classes aren't enough, you can pass any arbitrary value to Tailwind. And this is how simple styling is and Tailwind is going to make you go blazingly fast. Let's talk about the best feature of Animotion which is auto animate. To animate between slides inside your presentation where you have a slide, you just have to add an animate attribute. And now you can copy over the exact same slide and add what you want to animate. So in this case, we have any motion and then we're just going to add something else in this case. And that's how simple animating between elements in any motion is. It's also awesome for animating layouts. In this example, we have a grid that we want to auto animate, but auto animate isn't magic and it needs to know what it should animate in this case where it can't match the elements exactly. So you just need to give it a data ID, which you can name anything just so it matches. And then in your next slide, you can change the layout. And that's how simple that is. So let's talk about code blocks. In your presentation, you just have to import the code component and you have to specify the language and the lines and even the offset. And in the back ticks, you define your code. So here we have a simple code example and we're saying to highlight lines one and three, and then we're going to highlight the second line. And using auto animate is simple. We again create a new slide with a new code block, and then we can also highlight the lines five through seven, and then one to seven. As you can see, Animotion takes care of the most tedious parts for you. So let's talk about events. Because the slides are already in the DOM, we can take advantage of component lifecycle methods directly, but we can use events. So here I have a slide, and if I want to trigger some behavior, I can use the in or out event, which can be used to trigger any behavior you want. So let's look at an example of that. Here I have an example where I want to interpolate a value from 0 to 100, so I can do that by importing the tween store from Svelte Motion. And if you aren't familiar with Svelte, a store is basically like a signal. And now we can define a progress, and now when the slide is going to enter, we can animate that progress from 0 to 100. In Animotion, you can also bring your own layout. By default, the presentation dimensions are 960 by 700, but they preserve the aspect ratio and try to fill the entire viewport. So here are the options you have by default. So here you have the dimensions, the controls, the type of the transition, if you should disable the layout, the display type, and if slides should be centered. So let's look how we can customize this further. So if we change the options, we can say to disable layout true. Now the width and height are ignored, we can set the display mode to grid or flex if you want. For the transition, you can specify anything else like fade or none, plus some other options. And then we can even hide the controls for the presentation. 
This lets you create a reusable layout component like in this example where I created a 1080p layout with some padding which I can then import inside of our presentation and now we can use the layout inside the slide. Now you have complete control over the layout. And those are the fundamentals of Animotion. To get started you can run npm create at Animotion. All the links are also going to be in the description. So if you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also become a patron and join the Discord. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.